Hello everyone, so uh, I'm super excited for tomorrow's launch of um, One Force NFT and you also should be excited, not financial advice, it may go to zero in a couple of days or months. Because tomorrow is launch and actually Discord is going absolutely nuts, people are like seeking to get this NFT and I think it's the best time to show how to mean directly in, from the contract because if you interact with website of uh, nft creators they they are not always as smooth as uh, interacting directly with the uh, ethereum network through etherscan because this is a client which was already tested many times so how it works is that you have a website which created by some random developer and let's say he introduced a bug or something the button mean does not work or the contract is deployed earlier so you as a user of this website you try to go and click the button and then it actually interacts with a contract however if there is anything wrong going on with this channel right like the button doesn't work or something like this 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 small developer didn't do a very good job uh, then you lose your chance to get your NFT, which is not good because we want to buy specs because they're expensive, right? Because we need to spend this money somewhere. And uh, how to avoid the situation is very easy. You need to use Etherscan. It's a website where you can communicate directly with contracts. And you, while learning a little bit of like a very small trick, you can actually directly interact with contract. So if contract is deployed and it's live you can just go and i will show you how to get your nfts fast and efficient way i guarantee it's going to be much faster than if you interact with any website so this is much better and this is this is better this is we don't do that okay but there is a little bit of technical detail there so here is uh, one force nft massive pre-sale everyone is excited i'm excited so what you want to do you want to find this contract in other scan and you want to be prepared to mint it directly from the contract uh, obviously i can't show you in the real time uh, how it's gonna happen because the contract is not deployed yet otherwise people would just go and mint it directly but what, what i can show you i can show you an example from another collection which i'm also excited about and it's called uh, expansion punks you can go and check them out uh, i think it's a wonderful collection even though i'm not a big fan of like copycats or derivatives and just parody but i think it's just a very well executed team and they are doing a very good job which is quite good i think so and people are real you can see who is this dude jeremy i actually connected him on linkedin he seems to be a legend guy i worked in Microsoft for like 10 years or something anyway so um, uh, so what I'm going to do so I need to find the contract numbers people will announce it in discord I'm sure I'm guaranteed they're gonna announce it but since this collection had pre-sale you can already find assets on OpenSea so what you do you find the collection which you want to mint and then you open any asset and uh, after that you just find this address which is goes asset slash this address and slash number of asset and after that you go to other scan and you try to search for it so here we go you find the address and this address is a contract address of one force right now if you see contract you you will see something like this which is very confusing for most of people unless you can read byte code collection is not launched yet they did not verify the contract while expansion punks they also already on the market so you can go and here we go we go with we open any asset we open any asset and then we find this beautiful address on this asset and we go to other scan and we search for it and here we go this is our contract from everything uh, on this page you need to you need to understand only what's happening under the contract inside of the contract you have the code which we are not gonna read today it's not too fun uh, we have a write contract tab 
write contract tab is exactly what you use to write directly to contract the function it's a way to interact with the contract so basically when a developer build a website here right he actually interacts with the contract so to say and what we do here is we already used another way to interact with the contract which is way more efficient and you need to do pretty much the same like you would do on the uh, website of the creator you will just connect your web3 uh, wallet uh, i use metamask most likely you also use metamask i have already connected most likely you will get a pop-up approved verification stuff like that and then from all these functions you would want to find the function which called mint or buy or purchase or something like that majority of people they name it mint but there is no standard naming so here you can see mint and there here you have two fields one is payable amount in ethereum and second is number of units uh, most of minting functions will have two of these fields okay and now very important point you need to know how many assets uh, creators allow you to mint in one batch for expansion punks let's go and check it out mint they allow maximum 20 i don't want to get 20 i, I already have five maybe i get another five i get another five so uh five assets and pretty much they already tell you the price right uh, 0, 0. 0.0.6 is one asset and then for five is going to be 0. 0.3 ethereum and this is exactly what we want to put here in payable amount the first field you would put 0.3 which is a price for all assets and in second one you put five five punks i want to buy five assets if you mess up here with the price your transaction will fail which is not good like you don't want to fail transaction especially if you're in the rush of minting so don't put here like 0103 you won't save any money you just need to put exactly exact number or how much you would pay for this uh, amount so again if you want to buy one you would put 0.0.6 and you would put number one if you want to buy five like i do you put 0.3 and let's just go and mint it so to mint you click right and it will pop up your metamask i will do in-depth videos on how to play with the gas fees later on for now you can just click confirm I'm not gonna click confirm because I already bought too much while recording this video and uh, soon you will see your uh, new assets in your wallet on OpenSea. The expansion punks are here. Some of them are rare, some of them are not. Uh, the same process for uh, one force, right? So because we're gonna mint one force tomorrow. You go to one force and then you find again the asset. Uh, assets contract number then you go here you find this contract i'm gonna attach it probably to the video if you wanna if you wanna mint maximum amount you just multiply it by seven so in the first field you will put this number 054439 and in the second uh, field you would put uh, seven so whenever contract will appear in the uh, for one force you go to mint or purchase or what they have and you would put here this number which we just calculated right zero five something and on the second one you would put seven and that's how you mint maximum amount of one force units i hope guys that was useful for you if you have any comments or suggestions recommendations please go ahead and comment in my channel subscribe to my twitter and uh, yeah give me some love some likes and i will record more like in-depth technical videos on how to um, how to mint how to use metamask on the more professional level and basically how to create nfts